everybody and say Disney here. Welcome back to another video from Disneyland. And today I'm here to check out the last day of Splash Mountain and all everything that's happening for this historic day in Disneyland history. So right behind me, those are the gates of Disneyland. I'm about to go in and get started on seeing what's taking place inside the parks right now. So without further ado, let's begin. A little expected, but it's so crazy to see this in person. It's very busy here at Splash Mountain. Current wait time is about 230 minutes, which is equivalent to three hours and 50 minutes. There we go, 230 minutes right there. Oh, sheesh. All right, guys, current update. Single rider is closed for the day. Currently, 6.53 p.m. And it's closed for the day. No word if it's gonna open, but I doubt it. Alrighty guys, finally made it to the front of the souvenir coins. So here are the special designs. Here's Splash Mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and get all three. Alrighty my friends, here are the coins. So the one on the left looks like it's Mickey and the gang on the log flume of Splash Mountain. Second one is all the rare characters on the log flume. And then the last one is just Mickey Mouse. That's all I can make out of it. I couldn't really tell what the design was, but here's the three coins that are that were given out from the Splash Mountain coin machines. Yeah, I wanna say waiting in that line for the coins was a bad mistake because um, I tried getting the coins, two of each, right? Because it cost $3 to get, you know, one of each coin, but I wanted, but I, you know, paid two times to get two of each coin and I only got one of each instead of getting three. So I got a refund for the second best that I never got, but it sucks because I waited like, what was it like 45 minutes in that line? Now single rider is all done for. First Splash Mountain over there. So I'm gonna have to wait four hours to get on, but you know what? It's the last day of Splash Mountain, all good, no worries. Or maybe it's a good thing because who knows if they would even still have those coins later tonight if I were to wait in single rider, in the single rider line. And knowing my luck, probably not. Anyway, walking back to the entrance. Current time is 7.17 p.m. Current wait time is 200 minutes. That is equal to three hours and 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, so the line is still long, but that's expected. I, I feel like it's like a 50-50 on this one. It could get longer or shorter. Don't know, because even though it is getting cold over here in SoCal, I feel like people, especially myself included, are committed to wait in line, even if it's cold. I mean, good thing I have my extremely puffer jacket on. It, I am, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am sweating right now in this, uh, what is it, 60 degree weather? So I'm, I'm pretty warm right now, but yeah, I came prepared, let's do this. The last day to jump in, the briar patch. I went to go explore a little bit and see that the line is still long. Not surprised, it's gonna be like this for the rest of the night. But now, I bring this up because now I'm deciding whether or not I should go and buy myself some chimichangas while I wait in line or get some pineapples. I don't know what the, the move is. A sight to see for sure. And I think the next time we'll see, you know, this many people in front of, you know, this specific mountain here at Disneyland is when uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure will open. And you know, everybody's gonna be here opening day. Everyone's gonna have their phones out, their pictures out, everyone out. Maybe even Brit Rabbit over there, look at that. See, I wish I had one of those. But yeah, today is a very, it's an interesting day, very different than the rest, but that's just how it goes for Splash Mountain's last day of operation. Crazy. Meanwhile, the line for Haunted Mansion is only 30 minutes. Just a 30 minute wait. Over there, we have the Mark Twain Riverboat coming our way with its lights on. Look at this glorious view, I love this. You know, the Frontierland lights start turning on, all the lights start turning on. There's nothing like sunsets here at Disneyland, especially this time of year, you know, when summer is starting to happen and it's just, it's a whole different vibe and you don't get it any other time of year, you know, even during Christmas or Halloween, it's not the same. Only now during summertime, well, like when it's about to be summer or during summertime, it's when it's the best. I mean, just look at that view. The camera doesn't do it justice, but in person, my goodness, is it glorious. It looks very cool. You see all that smoke up or the steam. My bad, that would be the steam you see up there by the trees. The flags aren't moving so much, but it's 
but you know, it's still a view anyway. Then Big Thunder has a line. <laughs> I don't know how long it is, but it looks pretty long. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm walking away from Splash Mountain. It's because that line is four hours. I'm gonna get hungry, so I'm here to get myself some chimichangas and some pineapples. That's what I get here whenever I come to the parks to munch on. <laughs> Funny thing is I don't really eat churros that much or like pretzels, popcorn. I don't really eat those that much. I always go for the chimichangas or the pineapple slices that they have out here. It's super good. Anyway, here I am at the ship to shore food mart. I'm hoping that they still have chimichangas by the time I'm up there to the front. It doesn't look like they have a lot left to see, but we'll see. Stocking myself up for this four hour wait. Got a smart water. Bummed out it's not Dasani. Dasani's the best in the game. Prove me wrong in the comments, guys. I'm gonna get me some pineapple slices over there, and it looks like I still have hope for chimichangas over there. We'll see how this goes. I ended up getting two because it's gonna be a long while in this lane. Look at this. We do have Dasani waters. I was wrong. I should probably switch. Got the goods secured. Got some pineapple slices, water bottles, and some chimichangas because I'm gonna get hungry in that lane for sure. It's really too bad I won't be able to get plaza in today, but you know what? That's fine. The Splash Mountain's last day. Let's do this. And here I go. Time to walk over to Splash Mountain all the way over there. Let the waiting begin. Yeah, you're fine. Here it goes. Stand by for Splash. Here we go because they closed out Single Rider. Oh, you gotta love this. Here we go. Let the waiting begin. I've been waiting in line for 30 minutes and I've only progressed to this point. So we still have to zigzag all the way over there, come back, and then go through this walkway here. And who knows how long that is going to take. Um, given how long it took for me to get to this point, I say I'll probably be over there by another hour to an hour and a half. We'll see how it goes. So that I was there almost an hour ago, barely, right here at this point, the line is wild. Let's see, let's get a closer look at that sign right there. The lightning lane entrance sign. Uh, the camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Lightning lane entrance sign. Boom. We're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Not the best progress exactly, but you know what? Progress is progress. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. I've officially been in line for a solid hour. I'm only to this point of the line, so I still have to go back all the way over there, and there's a walkway somewhere behind those trees, and then, you know, we have to go inside the actual main entrance, go inside that building, go inside the mountain, and then get on the ride. So, according to the original wait time when I got in, I still have another, let's see, three hours and 10 minutes, and this is the progress I've made in an hour. Something like nothing crazy. In line, I was looking at some of the merchandise that they have over here by the exit of the Haunted Mansion. Does any of it peek your eye? I do have that Black Spear jersey right there. And I also have this Haunted Mansion one right here as well. Do you guys have any of this? Let me know. It looks like the line is moving a little bit. So now, I get to give you guys, I mean, it's not the best view yet, but I can get you guys this view of the mountain, at least from this far angle. It's moving a little bit more. Observing the plants of Splash Mountain. And in the back, we have people falling to their drenchedness. <laughs> Is that a thing? Look, and then there's the Critter Country sign up there. I can't even reach it, but it's there. And there went another one. I never realized how dark it gets here at night. Look at this. I wonder if they're going to change this up. In terms of you know decorations, plants, lighting, when they re when they open um, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I really wonder how that's gonna go. Looking at Hungry Bear over there and realizing that I'm actually starting to get hungry, and I can't go over there. But you know what I do have? I do have chimichangas on me, and I just ate one. But you know what? I could totally go for another. Why not? Wanted to get you guys a better view of the log plumes passing by. There we go. Everyone getting their final splashes in. So crazy. I've never, I've actually never seen, I've, oh wait, I have. I hardly ever get to see the ride from this specific angle. Never really wait through this part of the line. Let's see. Let's get a good view of the people going down the drop. There we go. That's what's up. And then you can see all of the spikes that are right on top of the drop as well. Or right over them at the drop. There you go. Super cool. The attention to detail. We also go over uh, through that bridge over there on top as well. Very cool. I'm barely realizing that the line extends all the way to this part of the Splash Mountain area. No wonder why it's four hours. That explains everything. Oh boy. I'm really liking how my camera can see this squirrel. What is it? 
Is it a compass? I forgot what they call these things, but you guys get the idea. It's right in front of these trees. There we go. That's a good shot of it. Wondrous Journeys has just begun. Over here by Splash Mountain. Look at that. What a way to be in line. So incredible. Check this out. Legit just jump scared everyone. <laughs> Look at that. Fireworks. Fireworks indeed, man. Be the boat with a shorter wait time. How long is it? 10 minutes. Compared to Splash, that is nothing. Right now, Splash is at 4 hours exactly. Wow. This looks like it's officially done. No wait time posted means they closed the line up. So I forgot to show you guys the two hour mark, but I have, supposedly, I have an hour and 48 minutes and 35 seconds left in line of Splash Mountain. And this is where I'm at. So I feel like in this second hour of waiting, we made more progress than the first because we're all already over here by the entrance of We Need the Pooh and then Hungry Bear is right over there. And the entrance is flashed all the way down there. So uh, I don't feel, I feel like we're just over halfway of what we have to wait normally. So I feel like that's a good sign. So good things are happening. But right now I'm checking out the Disneyland app and yeah, Splash Mountain is officially done for. It's closed. There's no wait time being displayed on its button anymore. Look at that. No wait time whatsoever anymore. So this page, sooner or later, after tonight, will be history. So let's see, if I try to hit Lightning Lane, it's not going to give me an option to get it, of course, but that way you guys can see. This is history in the making right here. Look, standby line, not currently being offered. That's massive right there. That's a big deal. So it's an end of an era. Splash Mountain standby is officially done for, and there won't be a standby for this ride until it reopens as Tiana's Bio Adventure. In a year and a half. There's a train passing by. I'll show you guys that for sure. Look at that. So if you guys are huge fans of the Disneyland Railroad, you'll know that that is the EP Ripley number two pulling, what is it, the Holiday 4. Fabulous cars. Yeah. Also, I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to look once the video is uploaded, but I'm looking at it as I'm filming and I'm actually surprised the camera is picking up this much lighting. I mean, at least, you know, right now as I'm recording, but I don't know how this will look once it's posted, this footage, so we'll see. The time I'll be passing through here, just going to show you guys all the signs before I go in. We have the warning sign, boom. Splash Mountain, here we go, stand by. Going in, going in. Okay, I'm in. I'm inside the building, getting these last views of these tools here. Is that what they are? <laughs> you guys, here's one last look at the iconic 50 foot plunge sign. There we go. That sign. Here we go. Let's look at the. Rare animal statues. We have rare fox, rare bear, and rare rabbit. The line is moving. I wish you could stop, but we gotta keep up the pace. <laughs> the Splash Mountain crowds. Look at this line, guys. I mean, there's not many people as there was earlier, but there's still people waiting to get those smashed pennies or pressed pennies. What would they be called? Hopefully, you guys get the get the idea. Let's see, here we go. And then there's still. Uh, giving guests complimentary photo pass yeah, attraction photos yeah. for your convenience. Still a massive line to get in. Here's the last chance to exit sign. Documenting it right now. It looks like the room I'm getting for my last ride on Splash Mountain is row four. So in the middle of the boom, this is how it's looking over here in the loading area. Oh my. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Here we go. Here we go. It's our turn. God, I'm gonna die, aren't I? One last time, one last time. Oh man. Here we go. Oh my!
way. <laughs> Here we go, let's go. Splash down. <laughs> Dude, I am so anxious and for what, man? I've been on this before. <laughs> Enjoy the oh, moments, we are, we are racing. Oh, we're cruising. Now we're going by so <laughs> fast, dude. We're going so fast. <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon. Hey, you start screaming for the people down there. <laughs> This is the drop. Oh my God, he sure ain't laughing no more. One last time. You're half hell on me, dude. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Hey, you're good. I felt it, I was like, no! <laughs> no, you're good, man. It landed right on my face. Well, I'm, I'm sorry it landed on no, You're good, dude. <laughs> you're chilling, man. Shoe. And then we have everyone looking at their ride photos after riding Splash Mountain one last time. Look at this. They have these Brer Bear signs up there. It says, please remember the number appearing on your photo. And there's two of them up there. There's one more to the left and then there's one there as well. You get a close up on that sign too before, before I leave. There we go. Some more props over here. Just containers, bottles. I put Flash on it. I'm not sure what that is, but it says... Picture perfect developer, and then there's pictures of the Splash Mountain characters all the way in the back. So we have Brer Rabbit, Brer Rabbit, and then I believe it's a uh, that's Brer Bear, right? Brer Bear, we see right there, and then it's Splash Mountain with the whole gang in the back. Oh, it's just Brer Fox and Brer Rabbit right there, and then it says, Watch the birdies, one box, whatever that is. And then it says, Is it A1 hash powder? Up there, there we go, hash powder. Then it says true blue on that bottle there. I'm, try I'm trying to focus on it, guys, I'm sorry. There we go, fixative, is that how you pronounce it? And then it's, is it Barnaby Owl 2? Whatever that is, whoa, my camera just like totally glitched there. Then I believe that is a picture of Br'er Br Bear right there as well. Sorry guys, my camera is just like not focusing on what it should be focusing. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see it. That's Brer Bear right there. Explorers, it's so wet. But that's Splash Mountain right there, guys. I just walk out of here. Hoping to keep the camera as steady as can be. Signs here.
It's under construction. <laughs> Just cover the construction parts. Oh, that's Just put part in our All pixie right. dust. Let's book a flight to Tokyo! <laughs> Hey, 
Wait, but it says close for refurbishment now, though. No! Look right there, close for refurbishment. Oh! Boo! Yes, yeah, right there! This is like a sixth episode with you all Yes! No! It comes with a free program. Tomorrow we ride. I left my bread rabbit in there. Okay. Splash Mountain has done its duty. Go home. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was Splash Mountain. That was the last night of its operation. As here at Disneyland, 2023. Let's go. It's been 30 years, 34 years exactly since this ride has opened. And tonight's been super crazy. Uh, there's still a lot of people out here in the main entrance of the ride getting their last pictures in. But I'm here signing off. I'm about to go um, check out the last uh, riders of the night, do their final drop. Um, but yeah, that's that's Splash Mountain on its last day of operation here at Disneyland. Also, sorry for the weird camera angle. I don't have my tripod on me. But today was an adventure for sure. All right, everyone. Well, there you have the last of Splash Mountain here at Disneyland. There's still people taking their final pictures in front of the ride over there. But... That was the end of it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you be sure, stay tuned for the next few videos coming out soon, guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content from the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and have yourselves a great one. See you guys.